Okay, I got a Samsung television here that is not working. Nothing happens when I press the button and the controller does nothing either. Uh, hooking it up to switch. The, okay, the switch goes just goes dead and uh, or actually black. And uh, it will it, it wants to display a, a picture, but of course we have a problem with the Samsung. I put a model number up here. Now you can see if you have a, the same kind of model or something similar. Might be the same kind of fix, but let's uh, let's open it up and have a look inside. There are four screws here: one, two, three, four, and then there is one here in the middle. And uh, you open these four, and after that you need to pry this open. So you get if you get one corner open a little bit somewhere you can put a credit card in here and uh, you can uh, slide it in here yeah. Well now, now this whole front is off, or loose, shall we say. And uh, up here, up here there is a ribbon cable. Here attached, and uh, and you can of course get that off, take that off if you want to. But the easiest way, I thought, was to. Turn this over like so, and then then you open this screw here, and now this whole back should just come off. Yes, okay. I found these two caps right here that look bad. There is a clever show close up. But we are going to remove this motherboard or this PCB. And uh, careful not to touch the, the big cap. It's 450 volt, 150 microfarad cap. There are three screws here. One, two, and three. So if you remove those, then the whole PCB will, will basically just slide out. Yeah, I put this up here again. So it's steady, it looks better. All right, after that, this will slide out and we can go to the, to the table with it. Okay, now these are these are 25 volts and uh, 1000 microfarad caps. And, um, and I happen to find on my on my board here, this is a cable modem. I happen to find two caps they are missing here, and uh, that's because they are over here. And uh, I took them out, and these are 1000 microfarad and 25 volts. So they are the same. Let's measure them. 871 microfarad, 2.6% V loss. 
Hmm. Well, they're not good, but I thought they would be worse than that. 921 microfarad. 1.9 microfarad. 1.9 percent. These are like just as good as the other ones, but it is leaking a little bit from the top. But now I'm now I, now I don't now I'm not even sure th this is going to help. But uh, let's replace them and have a look. There we go. Let's see what happens. So let's have a look. Nothing. Okay, so beside these two caps here, these two caps, I measured them to ground. And uh, if we check these that we just uh, just changed first to ground. So we got a ground there, but nothing on the other side. And uh, here's the other one, that's okay. Now these two, besides, they're both connected to ground. So I'm gonna remove those two and let's see what kind of values we get from these two caps. And then I see if I can have find replacements if they are bad. But uh, let's remove them and check if the short is gone and, and, and then then we can go forward. Okay, so I removed those two caps and we still have a short here. So, well, then I check this uh, diodes here. But these here beep both ways. So we have a short somewhere here. Either it's one of these or a component around here. I'm gonna desolder one of these and and, uh, and check or actually maybe even all of them. Yeah, I, I remove one leg from all of these and, and then I check the short from over here. And uh, if I find something, I'll come back. Okay. So what I've done is I uh, unsoldered all these three. And uh, interesting enough, the short is now gone from both of these. And if we measure this just with uh, resistance and the beep test, nothing, but the center one is beeping both ways and uh, the last one is not. Now, let's put it on diode test. Here we go. So, oh, it can't show anything that way, and which is good, but this way, 0 0.2222, and let's take this one, 0 0.2223, and also nothing on the other way, and then the last one, Zero, zero, zero. 
both ways. So, let's put these two back. Let's remove the center one. Let's put these two back components and then uh, we put this in the tester and see what it shows. Actually, uh, I would need. I'm going to remove one of these also to get value and, and look close what what the number is. So, all right. And here are the readings of the diodes. On the left, you can see the the good one, and on the right, you see the bad one that actually shows as a as a cap. All right. So the diodes have arrived, and now we're just going to put one there, and then we measure measure. We have any shorts or or anything else, and and then we test it. Okay. So I will put this. It's a little bit smaller, but it is the same value. I will just put it there, and and then it's already there. Okay, so the values are much better now, and uh, nothing is shortened. Oh. Yeah, okay, so let's put it into the television and test it. Okay, so it's... Uh, it's together enough for us to test it, so let's plug it in. Let's hope it won't explode. Oh, there was a blue. Yes, yes. Look at that screen. Okay, uh, let's put it. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's put it back together and then let's test the game. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's plug the switch in. All right. And uh, this little diode is the only thing that that was basically faulty. Okay, so the cap, cap, caps were, were bad, but, but they would have worked. This was the problem. And uh, a lot of people would have thrown away the television because of this little thing. So, I mean, uh, it is possible to fix a, a television, even though you're not very experience so try to do it i will play a little bit now thank you for watching <laughs>